And good evening and thank you for joining us. I'm Ann Trujillo. And I'm Shannon Ogden. Tonight, a murder arrest means possible relief for our northern Colorado community. Tomorrow, the task force charged with solving a string of random and senseless shootings is expected to make a major announcement. And Liz Gillardi is joining us live in Loveland tonight, where she is learning more about the man charged with murder. Liz? And Shannon Christopher Parker is charged with murder. He lives here in Loveland, was known to have an arsenal of weapons and neighbors say the FBI was at his home just the other day. Now everyone is wondering if he's the man responsible for inciting such terror. We thought maybe they quit investigating. 107, I was 138. CPR. June 3rd, 2015, William Canole shot near a busy intersection in Loveland. Dan and Fran Marthy, his friends and neighbors, saw him just before he was killed. Yeah, we were chatting here and then he, he left and the rest is history. Someone also shot at a motorcyclist that same day. The two crimes forensically linked a total of six random shootings too close, too strange, not to be suspicious. Nearly three years later, Christopher Parker arrested in court, charged with first degree murder and attempted murder for crimes that happened on June 3rd. Relief and thank God. Yeah, yeah. We've been waiting, you know, quite a while. A high school friend confirms this is Parker's Facebook page. What we found is disturbing, including this post. It says, always talking about my murder skills. But then hearing today what what it could be related to just really sends chills. The Loveland SWAT team knew Parker had an arsenal of weapons in his home, and he was placed on a 72-hour hold with a mental health facility. But what about that infamous truck, the one seen in this video and pictures put out by police? Parker's Facebook page shows a white truck that appears to be a similar make and model. Tonight, more questions as we wait to hear an update from the task force investigating the string of random shootings. Well, justice, justice. whatever that may be, you know, and hopefully it'll come to solve some of these others around in this area. We're hopeful. And although this happened in 2015, this is still so fresh in people's minds. They say back then they stopped going outside, walking outside because they were just so scared. So if this arrest is indeed linked to any of these shootings, it would be such a huge relief. Reporting live tonight in Loveland, Liz Gillardi, Denver 7. Thank